guys, I hope you're all well. Today we're going to look at SVG files and how you bring them into Design Space. We've already looked at JPEG and PNGs and I will link those in the description box below. So an SVG is very, very different to a JPEG and a PNG. An SVG is multi-layered, so it actually means it's really, really easy to change. With JPEG and PNG, it can be a little bit more difficult. We're going to look at that in future videos. But today I just want to show you what happens when you bring an SVG in and how it's different to a JPEG and a PNG. So I've got an SVG here. I'm actually going to bring it in and show you. And it also comes in PNG and JPEG format. And I'm going to bring those in as well. So you can actually see the difference between all three. You want to choose your file. I'm in Design Bundles. It's one of my favorite stores. And we are going to download now. Always make sure you are saving to your computer. And it's easy just to open the folder up there and then. You can see we've got JPEG, PNG and SVG. What I like to do is move all the files I'm going to use across to my pictures and then I put them in appropriate folders. So here we've got the JPEG, the PNG and the SVG. We're going to bring the SVG into Design Space first. So we need to open up Design Space. Once in your Design Space canvas, you need to go to Upload. You need to go to Upload Image and you can then browse for the file. You need to select it and choose Open. Now with an SVG image, unlike with a JPEG or a PNG, you do not get the option to remove the background. You can't do anything with it. It will not let you. It comes straight into the name and tag. So you can name it and then you can add your tag and then you go to save. You cannot choose whether you want it as a cut or a print and cut. It will come straight in as a cut file. But of course you can change it to a print and cut once you're in the design space canvas. I highly recommend adding a tag. It will make searching for it a lot easier. Once you're happy, we just save the image. So SVGs are very, very simple to bring in. You can then select it and insert the image to your canvas. So you will see if we look down our layers panel, we have got so, so many different layers with this image. And it means that we can manipulate it, we can add things, we can take things away. Very easy to change an SVG image. So we are going to go into that in future videos, but I just wanted to show you that bringing an SVG in is very, very simple. If we go back to upload, and we upload image and we go to browse. This time we're going to bring in the JPEG, so we're going to open. And as I showed you in one of the previous videos, you always want to bring it in as a complex image. This will keep it uh, to its maximum file definition. You then want to go to continue. With all JPEGs, you need to remove the white background. So you just come in and click. And you need to do that for everywhere. With these flowers, for example, if we don't remove the white background, when we go to continue, they will just be a solid cut. So you do need to remove all the white that you see with a JPEG. Or it might be gray, it could be any background color, but you need to remove the background. We can go back and just remove everything. You can zoom in and out to make it easier when removing the background. And you want to ensure that every piece of background is removed. Once that's done, you can go to continue. You can choose if you're going to bring it in as a print and cut or as a cut. You can then save as a print and cut or a cut. We're going to save as a cut. You want to put the image name in and a tag and go to save you'll notice that we've lost the colors. The reason being is because a JPEG image is a flat image. So unless you save as a print and cut, you will lose all those different colors that you get naturally with an SVG. You can manipulate this, and as I say, we will be looking at that in future videos. But just remember that in order to keep all those separate layers, you will need to bring it in as an SVG. If we go to upload image again, and browse. 
And this time we're bringing the PNG. We can go to open. You don't need to remove the background. It's already done, but you do want to again save as a complex image. We can go to continue. You still have the option to remove the background, but with a PNG, the background has already been removed. So you just go straight to continue. Again, if you save as a print and cut, you'll keep those colors. If you save as a cut, then you're going to lose those colors and all of that definition. You'll see that although the main background has been removed, the inner background pieces, so in between the flower petals, are not removed because of this white space here. So you may find that even with a PNG, you have to go in and manipulate it slightly. You'll find that there are some images you want to bring in as a JPEG and they work fine. There'll be other ones that you're better off bringing in as a PNG. They have their place, both JPEG and PNG images have their place in Design Space. But for the most part, you want to be working with SVGs. It gives you a lot more options. It makes the design process a lot easier and they are of a higher quality as well. Once you've removed all the background pieces you want, you can then change your image name and add your tag and save. You can see we've got our SVG, our JPEG and our PNG there. So it just depends on the image as to whether you're going to bring it in as a JPEG, a PNG or an SVG. As I say, they all have their place. As always, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.